All right, so this is the review portion of the Epic Go Sport Plus model, which is what you see here. Now the Sport Plus model comes with 800 watt motors. There's dual 400 watt motors in each wheel. Maximum speed of 12 miles an hour and a maximum distance of 12 miles. So I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat that in my opinion, 12 miles an hour is way too freaking fast for this thing. Um, I took it up to max speed on the basically the first day that I got it. And I fell hard, sprained my wrists. I mean, it was, it was worth it, it was fun. But it, like, it's a hoverboard, like 12 miles an hour is ridiculously fast. That's as fast as some electric skateboards in the market. Uh, some of the smaller ones, like the Bolt and stuff, you know? So um, the speed is, is, is great, don't get me wrong. It's great to be able to go that fast. However, 12 miles an hour is a little excessive in my opinion. Now the good news of that is that with the 800, watt, <clears throat> 800 watts of power means like it, it takes hills with literally no problem. It doesn't slow down at all. I went up some pretty steep hills as you guys saw in the video, went off road with it. It didn't slow down, it didn't get bogged down. It goes over uh, like thresholds of doorways really easily. It's got the power to roll over those big, you know, metal thresholds. Um, it can go on sidewalks, it can go indoors, it can go outdoors, it can go in the streets. So the motors allow you to go anywhere, but really 12 miles an hour is, is just way too fast, man. Because it's like it's squirrely, you know? It's a hoverboard, and at 12 miles an hour, if you get any sort of uneven ground, it can get a little bit squirrely. So I think it'd be cool if they had a mode where you could access all of the torque that's, um, that the motors can provide while having a, lo uh, <clears throat> a lower maximum speed. That would be kind of cool, I think. But I don't think that this thing has that. It's also got, um, Bluetooth speakers built into it. So as soon as you start it up, waiting for Bluetooth connecting. It automatically starts searching for a Bluetooth connection. So if you got your phone on you, you got your Bluetooth on, uh, it'll find the Epic Go Sport Plus and you can start streaming music if you want. I mean, I think this is a cool feature to be able to have a Bluetooth like radio or, uh, speaker in here. Like it's cool, I guess, if you were at a party or something, you just wanted to, wanted to have some music going. It's pretty loud, like it's, a, it's actually a decent sound system, but like I could never see anybody rolling down the street and having music blaring just to draw more attention to themselves. I don't know, if that's like your thing, then you will like this feature, but for me personally, like I don't know, I think it's a little bit superfluous, but I mean, it's cool that it has it, you have the option. So let's go over the lights real quick so I can show you guys what the different lights do. When you have it started up, <clears throat> these lights on this side right here, um, indicate the power levels. Right now you see that there's two lights, so there's either 66% or less. If it's got three full bars, we got 100% to 66%. Two bars, 66 to 33%. One bar, 33% to zero. And uh, on the left side here, the single green light will show you that the board is on and ready to go. And when you step on it with both feet, this middle light right here will light up and show you that everything's good to go. So again, this side just shows you that the board is running and that when you're on it, this one will light up and this side over here is your battery level. So these little fairings right here are probably my favorite thing um, about this hoverboard. It's something that not a lot of hoverboards have. And what it does, I mean, I think they look pretty cool to start with, but I think that their main functionality is that when you fall off the hoverboard, it um, instead of rolling and rolling and rolling, these things will stop you. It'll stop the, the board from just running away from you. Now, the problem with that is if you're on pavement or the street or something or some kind of you know, hard ground is gonna start chewing it up. As you can see here, I've already chewed up a little bit because I've fallen off of it. It comes with these little, <clears throat> these little rubber kind of sleeves that you can put on it. And I mean, they do minimize the damage, but they wear out really quickly. Like if you fall hard once, as you can see, this thing is already split and coming apart. So I think it'd be cool if they, uh, if they gave you like maybe a couple pairs of them instead of just one, so that if you do use them and they do get, you know, messed up, you can swap them out. But again, that's not that big of a deal. When you're on it, uh, again, as you guys can see in the video of the, uh, the aerial shots that I had before, um, it's got front lights and rear lights, which is really awesome. So these, this is the back of the board right here, and uh, these are the, the rear lights. They, they shine red when you're on it, and then when you turn, it'll, it'll act as a turn signal and, this, and it'll start blinking. So if you go this way, it'll start blinking. If you go this way, this one will start blinking. And the front of the board <clears throat> has white lights. Now, the lights are not like terribly bright. They're not exactly going to illuminate your path, but they do an awesome job of making you visible. So if you're gonna ride at night, like I actually really enjoy riding at night because it's just quieter, there's less traffic. Um, it's great because like you don't really have to carry a separate like blinking light for your backpack or like to put on you, whatever. It's like, it's already got it built in. I think that's a great feature, it's super safe. And uh, yeah, like overall, 
overall with this board like generally when i review products i've always got some critiques to have like there's something there's just some things i don't like about it and i have to be completely honest with you with this hoverboard there's absolutely nothing that i would change i think it's absolutely 100 percent perfect except for maybe the maximum speed it would be cool to have different settings so you don't have so it doesn't um, so, so you don't accidentally go faster than you intend. Like it would be cool to have like a beginner's mode because honestly, like I'm not super skilled with hoverboard. So it'd be cool to have a beginner's mode where again, you can access the full torque. However, you're not gonna go past like maybe eight miles an hour or something, which I think is a pretty reasonable speed for hoverboard. Um, so let's talk real world uh, examples here. Now on the website, again, remember it says you can go 12 miles on a single charge. And I found that to be, um, a little bit less in real world, maybe about eight miles or so. And that, that's pretty common with um, electric vehicles. You know, they'll tell you what the maximum mileage is with like under the perfect conditions, like hard ground, flat flat level ground, uh, you know, going slow, not max, not going max speed. You know, the stars are lying in the perfect position, whatever. Then you can get the maximum mileage. Um, now this one, again, I got about seven to eight miles per charge, but I'm going relatively fast. I do have hills that I go up and down. I do a lot of starting and stopping, uh, which, you know, will drain the battery. And as I said, for the maximum speed, it definitely will go 12 miles an hour. It'll go 12 miles an hour uphill. So let's talk about price point, okay? So this monster of a hoverboard is 800 bucks, okay? 799.99, which for a hoverboard is ridiculously expensive. That is so much money. I mean, you could buy a electric skateboard for that price. You could buy like a decent electric skateboard for 800 bucks, or you could buy like three or four regular hoverboards. So. The question I guess is, is is this thing really worth 800 bucks? Because like I was looking on Amazon and stuff and I don't see a lot of places that offer it for much less money. So the website offers it for 800 bucks and that's pretty much probably about what you're gonna pay for it if you want one of these things. Now, is it worth the money? I would say honestly, yeah. If you're looking for a hoverboard, then this is definitely the one to get. I don't think this is the hoverboard for first time electric vehicle owners. If you've never ridden an electric skateboard before, if you've never ridden a hoverboard or electric scooter or anything, I just don't know that this is the one for you. It's honestly too powerful and it's just too fast and it's too freaking torquey, man. Like it will spit you off in a second if you're not paying complete attention. If one of your feet you know, goes and you're not ready for it, it will just spin you around and it'll flip you off. So maybe not the best choice for a first time hoverboard owner. However, if you're familiar with hoverboards and you are already comfortable riding it, then um, yeah, definitely this is something that you would absolutely love. If you got an electric skateboard, you're looking for something different maybe, I think this would be a good choice for you too. Because you can actually go pretty far on it, like I said, about eight miles, you know, you could realistically use this for commuting. So I think it's good for people who are maybe living in the city, you can go on sidewalks, stuff like that. Um, it can be used for commuting for sure. So last thing I want to talk about with this is the charging time. I think on the website it says it takes about three hours to charge, which is pretty pretty accurate. Uh, it you know it took takes about anywhere from two to three hours to charge depending on how what the level is on it, um, which is pretty standard. It's got a really big battery, so that's pretty standard. The, the charger isn't anything you know super fancy. It's not a quick charger or anything. Um, so the website says three hours, and you can pretty much expect that for your charging time. Uh, overall, I mean, really, there's not a whole lot more to say about this thing. It's really a freaking work of art. It is honestly, it's bigger than most hoverboards. It's more powerful than most hoverboards. It's faster than most hoverboards. Uh, it goes farther than most hoverboards, and it's got a Bluetooth speaker. So I don't know. Like, it's probably the coolest hoverboard I've ever seen, and that's why I got it. Like. Okay, so I've never been like a huge fan of hoverboards. And honestly, when I first got this thing, when I first got on it, here's the, the arc of kind of my relationship with this hoverboard. I first got it, I fell within the first 30 seconds, sprained my wrist, and I was like, this thing is a, I freaking hate this thing. Like, I'm, so I was so regretful that I bought it. It was a waste. I thought, you know, I let it sit for a little bit, got back on it, tried to start riding it again, and uh, I kind of liked it even less. I was just like, what's the point of this thing? Like, I, if I'm gonna go anywhere, I'd rather have my electric skateboard. Like, why am I gonna, why am I gonna use a hoverboard? So I started using it a little bit more and as I got more familiar with it and as I got more comfortable with it and stopped falling off so much, I started to like it more. And as I started riding it even more, I actually fell in love with it. And now I use this thing just as much, if not more than my electric skateboard, which is my primary mode of transportation. So whenever I'm going somewhere, it's like maybe a mile or two, um, I'll probably take my hoverboard instead of my electric skateboard. If I'm going like really far distances, like 10 miles out or something like to go, you know, grocery shop or whatever, I'll take my skateboard, but, um, I mean, I freaking love this thing, man. Like, I really, really like it. I like, it's really fun indoors. It's really fun on sidewalks. Again, it can get a little squirrely if you're on uneven pavement. Um, 
but you know it can go off-road too and I really like that I mean it's not like an off-road beast you know with these tires or anything but you can go on dirt trails and stuff and it just gives you a lot of opportunities to do a lot of interesting things and I really really enjoy it and I'm really honestly kind of surprised that I'm saying that because I'm not really a hoverboard fan so yeah that's about it I mean this thing is the the hoverboard of all hoverboards it's the Ferrari of hoverboards in my opinion so again if you guys are looking for something where you know you've got an electric skateboard you've already got a hoverboard you're looking for something different this is probably the one for you if you are a first-time hoverboard user or have never ridden an electric skateboard or any kind of electric vehicle you might want to steer away from this because it really is honestly a little bit overpowered and uh, kind of too fast so Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this review. Thank you so much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe and like this if you liked the video. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down and I'll try to do better next time. And other than that, yeah, have a good day. Thanks.